Only G could be linked with Real Madrid and Street Miran jobs at the same time. Only G, full name Jose Maria Gutierrez Hernandez, could be linked to the Real Madrid and the Street Miran manager's jobs in the same week. The 41-year-old former Spain midfielder has always been unconventional. No one expected him to become a coach but he has continued to be as full of surprises as he was as a player and whatever his next big move is the one thing guaranteed is that it will be worth watching to see how things turn out. If he takes over at Madrid there will be a few last-minute changes to the training schedule to move training sessions from the morning to the afternoon, one experienced Madrid reporter told me. Late nights don't mix well with early workouts and Gdi has always known how to enjoy the city's nightlife. There was always something very 1970s about him as player. The flow in Charlie George mane of hair and the penchant for the elaborate on the pitch seemed to come from another era. And yet he found himself in the Madrid first team squad in the early 2000s when the club were building a Galatico's dynasty of expensively acquired superstars. Gdi's Twitter avatar is a front page from the sports paper Marco lauding him with the headline back heel from God. It comes from a 3-1 win over Deportivo La Coruna in 2010 when he had found himself on the edge of the six-yard box in front of goal with only keeper Daniel Lorenzo by it to beat. The same thing to do was score and put his side 2-0 up but instead he back heeled the ball out to the edge of the penalty area for another player to shoot from further out. The elaborate assist could have left him embarrassed but instead it fooled everyone except Karim Benzema who applied the perfect finish. Real Madrid, 1995-2010, 542 appearances, 77 goals Besiktas, 2010-2011, 40 appearances, 12 goals Spain, 1999-2005, 13 caps, 3 goals total, 595 appearances. 92 goals that mark a front page says a lot about what was great about him, it also speaks volumes about what was not so great. He's remembered for an assist in a nothing league match, and not for playing a meaningful part in the team winning trophies. One time President Ramon Calderon once called him the eternal promise. He said, he's 31 years old and he is still talked about as having potential. One Madrid manager remarked on arriving at the club. Look at all the photographs on the walls here of all the great successes. Gdi is not in any of the pictures. It was true he never really fulfilled his promise. He struggled to find a permanent home in a team that had to accommodate Luis Figo, David Beckham, Zinedine Zidane and Ronaldo Nazario. He sometimes ended up in a dubiously attack-heavy central midfield partnership with Beckham. Or on the bench. He said that as soon as he quit he would be off to spend the rest of his days on a beach in Thailand and everyone believed him but instead he took his coaching badges and has been hugely impressive in charge of the club's under-18s. What has most surprised people has been his ability to be a convincing role model to the young players. No one expected that of a player who famously turned up for training two hours late in 2009 when Manuel Pellegrini was the Real Madrid manager. The clock had gone back and T claimed he had set the time on his phone back one hour only for the phone to automatically put the hour back another hour. The story did not really add up as many pointed out, T should have only been one hour late if his tale were true. It was his last season at the club marked by his part in a cup shock that saw Real Madrid eliminated by a third-tier side. When Jose Moreno replaced Pellegrini he made sure T moved on. Despite missing out on what would have been an invaluable apprenticeship under Moreno, Gdi is rising fast and is more fancied as a future coach of the first team than current B-team boss and former teammate Santiago Solari. The supporters love him because he was one of their own when new signings flooded the team and made it hard for homegrown players to prosper. He's ambitious and the links to Street Miran and more recently second division signed Alcorcon show a desire to not spend another season with the under 18s having shown his capabilities there winning the treble in his first season. Would he really go to Scotland? Well he went to Turkey when no one expected such a move. He finished his career at Besiktas before becoming an extremely partisan pundit winning even more admirers among Madrid supporters. He's hardly the voice of measured decorum and diplomacy that Zidane was. 
he would also not benefit from the immediate respect of the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo were he to take the job at Madrid. Wherever goes, it will not be dull.